Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a side view mirror replacement. And the vehicle that we're going to use today is a 2016 Ford F-150. Uh, what we're actually going to do though is we're going to upgrade from a factory style mirror like this with the turn signal indicator. It's actually a heated element mirror to the tow mirror. So the tow mirrors uh, are actually a nice little upgrade to do for people. Um, it's something that is really easy to do and should only take you a couple minutes. But I just want to show you the process on how to do it real quick. So let's get to this. All right, so first things first, when you are trying to upgrade these vehicles, um, you want to make sure that you're going to know that you ordered the right mirror. So the Fords actually have a either a difference between an 8-pin or a 22-pin connector uh, for the mirrors. So depending on your trim level and whatnot, it'll change that. So if you just have a little door panel tool, there's a couple of clips. There's one up here, just a couple on the sides. And if you just come up in the top side, you pull back that trim a little bit, you should be able to just kind of pry gently on it and it should just snap out of place. In the bottom, you should be able to just grab around with your fingers and pull out. So you'll see that there's one, two, three, four little clips. So they go under the door here. And the way to kind of see what connector you have is, is this more so square style is gonna be your eight pin. And then usually the 22 is gonna be a little bit longer. Um, so that would have a little bit more features to it. So what we're gonna replace in this car is gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be an eight pin style. Uh, but to take this out, it's actually not too hard. So once you get this connector out, and just to take that connector out just to show you, there's a little lock tab here that if I push in on it, here it leaves a little barb that's on here and allows you to pull it out. And then this harness is just on this little stud here. So same thing with my door panel tool. If I come up behind it, I can just pop that off. And then there's actually four bolts. There's one, two, three, and four that are there. So two nuts, two bolts, and they're a 10 millimeter. So a 10 millimeter socket on an extension. And I'm just gonna go through and take them all out except for one. I do that is because I want to have this one in there so that I can just crack it free and then I can actually grab the mirror from the outside and make sure it doesn't fall. Just to make your life a little bit easier, just make sure you roll down that window, then you can grab this mirror through the door, take your last nut off, and then you should just be able to pull this right off. There is one little clip here that kind of holds it in place uh, but once you get it off it's pretty simple and before you put the new mirror on just do yourselves a favor and the customer and just take a little bit of cleaner so I'm just going to take a little bit of glass cleaner and I'm just going to clean where that new mirror is going to rest once you have that all cleaned up now you're ready to put the mirror on all right so before you put the new mirror on there's a couple little thread protectors that are on here that you need to take off um, you just want to kind of make an eyeball and, and check to make sure that these are you know, intact and there wasn't any damage in shipping or anything like that. I'll actually leave a link down in the description below of these types of mirrors. These are actually an aftermarket unit that uh, were purchased off Amazon that are a pretty good quality product. So I'm looking forward to see how this look on the truck. So again, just going through the window. I'm just going to line this up. Get my little tab on the top. I'm going to line my, my studs up. I'm just going to take hold it up with the two nuts first you always want to make sure you thread everything in uh, first before you tighten any of the, the fasteners you just want to make sure that you kind of move in the mirror around to get it lined up
once all those are tight, just make sure you put your retainer clip back in, plug your mirror in, and then I always do a self test before I even put anything else back on. So to test these mirrors, you set the press on the left hand side mirror, you should be able to go left and right, and up and down. Um, and that's pretty much for these ones. Uh, if you did have a vehicle that had like an extended feature where it would actually be a power pull out or power fold, that would also be on the switch panel that you could check yourself. Once those are on, all you need to do now is put your turn panel clip back in place. I have to say that this fits actually pretty nice to the car. Um, it doesn't stick out or bulge anywhere. And you do the same process on the other side. So, pretty big difference. Something that's a really easy upgrade to do and doesn't take a whole lot of time. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Thanks so much for watching.